Bitcoin setting up for yet another signal in this overall price action trap that we have seen in yesterday's battle at 70,000 bucks. Bitcoin bulas letting go of the uh, of the playing field yet again. And what does that mean for price action in the next 24 to 48 hours to come? And what sort of setups are we looking at that are going to be relevant based upon that is a topic of today. Other than that, I want to welcome you back to the Eric Crown Crypto channel. It's a nice little Monday, no, Thursday morning. <laughs> Why did I say Monday? Don't know. Doesn't matter. But let's get into the actual uh, chart right in over here. First off, following up on yesterday's statistical analysis because yesterday we were saying that hey bitcoin on wednesday is the most likely day to be volatile based off of this right here the high low range being significantly higher than any any other weekday and then on top of that we were looking at the average returns for wednesday which was just below four percent now that that number has moved down now because bitcoin's uh, returns yesterday were you know obviously a little bit more on the lower end um bringing that average down but we can once again look at this as a good sort of range identifier from yesterday's open to that almost 4% move to the upside, you know, that was Bitcoin's high just around 70,000 bucks. Again, another good indication that, hey, looking for a scout play around that region, it's typically, it's typically going to work out in your favor. Not always, not always. I'm sure that I'm going to get, you know, a shit ton of hate when that inevitably does happen. But in general, on average, in these uneventful times, you can expect those to play out, um, pretty regularly, especially, I mean, again, it's just another fucking example in a slew of examples that we've seen over the past few weeks here. Um, now, of course, Thursday, in terms of whether it's likely to close positively or negatively, is more or less a coin flip, slightly weighted in terms of the uh, of the upside here. Um, but when I look at the average gain versus average loss, we can once again likely get the range for today. And, um, and also, it's actually quite revealing in terms of uh, it, you know, in terms of the other side, which I'll cover in a second. But first things first, average uh, percentage loss for Thursdays has been about 164. That's actually around the current low of the day. So is it possible that we've already seen the low of the day? Yeah, definitely possible. Also implies that if we do see closures kind of lower than the wick, uh, than, than where the wick is right now, or anywhere below yesterday's low at 67,000 bucks, you're likely looking at a you know the beginning of, uh, of a trendy move, uh, in this case, to the downside. Now to the upside, uh, average returns have been about just under 2%. And that's actually very revealing here because if Bitcoin were to play out about a 2% move to the upside, that'd put it in the mid 69s, which is very, very important. Remember this information for a little bit later in this video, but what it should be known is that even on, even on the average return today, Bitcoin would not trade above yesterday's high. And in fact, probably the most, um, the, the most simplistic version of analysis I can give you right now is that, look, if Bitcoin trades back above yesterday's high, probably in the clear, probably ready for this one to continue sideways and up from there. Maybe not necessarily in the same day, but overall very, very likely, yes. In the case of Bitcoin coming back down below yesterday's low, and it's certainly closing below yesterday's low, you can get ready for one of these, baby, some fuck action. <laughs> Very similar to what we saw during yesterday's price action. Bitcoin up a few thousand, down a few thousand, pretty much unchanged on the day. Anyways, that's enough of that guy right there. I love that guy. He's great. Um, anyways, moving on from there, I do want to once again follow up on some of the other signals that uh, have been occurring and that are now uh, also baking. Um, the two-day time frame continues to, or did confirm its bearish divergence, multiple drives right there, to be fair. Yes, one of them is phantom, but overall, um, that certainly going to be weighting things towards the downside. The three-day time frame for CME is closing tonight, and this one will also confirm bearish divergence if Bitcoin closes here or lower, but basically anywhere below 68,000 bucks on CME. That will be confirmed. And then the five-day time frame, which is not closing tonight, but is closing tomorrow, is going to have a phantom drive right here. And in that case, probably going to be good enough to get this thing back down, um, you know, breaking these range lows, uh, maybe over the weekend, probably early next week. And at that point, you know, we can start talking about targets, which we'll get into at the end of this video, as well as a nice little announcement as well <clears throat> regarding the crypto school. Anyways, um, yes, we got that. We got that. Okay. I'm just making sure, um, I'm just making sure everything's good to go there. You know, I mean, one of the most obvious ways of just getting targets is looking at the three day 21 exponential moon average based off of that bearish divergence. I mean, that's going to be a pretty natural magnet I shouldn't say magnet I, I, I don't like that terminology but you know somewhere around there um at the very least uh anyways moving on from there we should also cover stochastic momentum because there are a few new developments here daily time frame continues on with its heavy downside momentum as long as bitcoin is below 71,600, we do see that this one whoops nope wrong time frame uh <laughs> this one this one is going to be in alignment with the two-day time frame I already have it right there nice um which is showing fresh downside momentum as long as Bitcoin is below 70,000 bucks, closing tonight. So 
very likely to see the daily and the two day align with each other. And if we go to the three day, guess what? That one's also closing tonight. And any sort of closure is below 68, four, uh, 450. That one turns down as well. So you got the daily, two day, three day. What about the five day? Not closing tonight, but closing tomorrow night. Will turn down below 67,800. Okay, if we see all of those things in alignment with each other, that is kind of like the stars aligning. And I, I really would be expecting Bitcoin to make a, a nice little leg down here um, into the lower portion of the $60,000 territory. Again, five day and weekly confirmed tomorrow, daily, two day, three day all tonight. So one before the next, obviously, and uh, that would be quite damning, um, at least in at least as far as short term price action goes. I want to reiterate my overall stance, though. I don't I ultimately think that this is going to create another opportunity here. Um, and I don't think that Bitcoin is going to make new lows below its current uh, low, um, which is, I don't know, 56, 57,000 bucks, something like that. Um, but, you know, can come down significantly percentage wise. Um, so fair enough. Anyways, moving on from there, I do want to get into the HPDR bands. And I should let you know that the two-day time frame, again, closing tonight, is going to have a chance to actually break below and close below the median here for the first time since uh, mid-May. And at that point, just another thing that does suggest Bitcoin very likely comes back down to 64000 Um The median is currently positioned at 67800 or so, so a little bit below 68000 bucks. Um, again, just... <laughs> You know more things that do suggest uh, uh, Bitcoin's in a little bit of a little bit of a predicament right here, and then the five-day time frame also, um, if it does close below the median, which is sixty-seven five hundred, again not happening tonight, but tomorrow night, um, you know very very likely a setup for the downside for this next week to come. As long as Bitcoin's above there, maybe there's a little bit of hopium. Yes, obviously Bitcoin having it playing out in inside range between yesterday's um, uh, high and low doesn't really do too much um, for us. Uh, again, the obvious portion of the, uh, the obvious portion of this analysis is that anywhere above yesterday's high, good. Anywhere below yesterday's low on a closing basis, set up for the downside. Um, and it certainly is weighted towards downside setup right here. Should also let you know that you can get the historical price action statistic indicator, the one that I'm using to generate all of these statistics right here, in the links in the description below. Um, uh, it not only does this, but it actually has several other functionalities as well. It can also show hourly time frame um, data, which is quite useful. Anyways. When we go back to, uh, was it this chart here? I think it was this chart, this chart here. Again, I just want to uh, point out the next major fibs along this current um, uh, range, which again, if Bitcoin does break below the 382, which is kind of the current base, um, you know, very likely looking somewhere between these two major numbers here, 62 and a half to 64 and a half. Uh, this is on CME, by the way, as well. So there is a, a small premium over spot price action. I think that also aligns with the, yeah, uh, the, the, the three day 21 exponential right here as well. So it, it, at the very least that region probably tries for a bounce there. And then, um, and then we get to, the, to play the game is, is this bounce reversal or not? Obviously no way to, uh, to know beforehand. So yeah, I think that pretty much gets it for that portion of the analysis. I do want to give a quick shout out um, to the crypto school going on because the crypto school is going to be starting in two weeks. It's not really crypto school. It's more like a trading school, actually. It's more like a steal my system type of school <laughs> is what it is. But ultimately, you are going to be making this into your own. Anyways, um, I want to first let you know a few things about it because uh, actually Crypto Banter has, has valued this at $5,000. So it's $5,000, but you can basically get in for free for the price of free. You obviously do have to have an exchange account, but just follow, their, follow the directions. And if you have any sort of questions, hit up the Discord associated with the crypto school, not myself or not, or not Elsa. We don't really have much to do with that, actually. Um, but anyways, I should also let you know, of course, that this is going to be the first cohort and there's going to be, uh, you know, there's going to be about four weeks of content there where we do live streams and everything like that. But there is going to be limited spaces for this one. So understand it is first come, first serve. And after that, uh, you know, and you know, and after the time comes uh, comes off right here, we well, it's done for that one. It's done for that one at least. But of course, you know the you know the real purpose of this uh, you know of this program is to show you what a working strategy looks like and show you how you can set it up for yourself because we really want to avoid that fucking dastardly position where you're asking yourself, what should I do? There's actually a great question in the in the in the Discord earlier today with this person kind of outlaying their 
investment decisions over the past uh, couple of years. <laughs> and, um, and at the end of the day, you know, what, what does it come down to? What was the actual issue? They didn't have a plan. So they don't know when they're supposed to buy, sell, or get out of the damn position because it's going to get much, much worse. And so that's the problem that we're trying to solve here. Or that's the problem that we are solving here. Um, and, you know, if you're that kind of person, which I've certainly been myself in the past, then that hopefully is going to be of value to you. Anyways, that's where I'll end it on that one. There's already, there's actually already like thousands of people who've already signed up for this, which is fucking crazy, which is fucking crazy. Um, but, uh, but yeah, very much looking forward to it. And, uh, and that'll, that'll start officially in the next 14 days. Um, and you can sign up in between now and then. So I'll end things on that note. As always, I want to wish you the best, the best. Take care, much love, and see you hopefully tomorrow.